Social media for the shop has been amazing. Being a Harry Potter themed shop took off on its own. People stop in all the time just to see the shop. They're like, I heard, you know, you got all this stuff around that and they just want to take pictures with it because we have like Harry Potter themed candles, we have like memorabilia. I pretty much unpacked my house and brought it to the shop. It's really, really helped it. When you show people it's a clean environment, like this is how the stations are laid out. You know, we have a private room in case you want to be private, like here's everyone that works here. You walk in and you've already seen it. So you've already felt it. It's been open for, I think like two and a half, almost three years and I didn't imagine it it was gonna be this successful and it wasn't because of where it's at. It's like in the country. Like people drive there and they're like, I thought I was gonna get killed on the way. And I'm like, no, we're just over here because social media brings you there. It's not, you're not just gonna drive by it. So I think you, you just have to, you know? <laughs> like when I first started tattooing, Instagram just started. Artists still kind of relied on people just walking into a shop. You know, you could be tattooing and you could get a week or two worth of clients just by them calling or walking in. That's how you got your business. That's how you built clientele. If you had a specialty, they would tell someone else who told someone else, like they do this, they do this. So then that's how you're building it up. You would make your portfolio book and it would sit on the table and they'd come in and look at it or you'd have flash on the wall and you'd pick it out. And I'm sure shops are still like that. As social media came to be like the head of, you know, a lot of business forefronts for marketing. Tattooing is the same thing. If you're not doing those things and just relying on, you know, a phone call or people to just walk in the shop, you will get business for sure, but you will not build a clientele around what you like to do. Or maybe you will, it'll just take a really long time. It's just about getting comfortable, like being yourself to everybody else. If you're just posting pictures of tattoos, like that's enough, but like they might wanna see your face. They might wanna see what you look like. They might wanna know your horoscope sign. They might wanna know if you have kids, like just stuff like that. People sit behind a phone now and they wanna to get to know people still. With social media, it's given me like an avenue where I can be like, hey, like I'm chill, you know, I'm a cool girl and I wanna meet you. You know, showing people that you're like that, showing the environment they might come in, showing them your specialty, showing them your process, educating them. It gives you a really easy way of doing that. It's hard for some people, they're like, I don't know how reels work. I don't know how Instagram works. They're not as like inept to just like picking it up. I always was like that. I went to school for marketing. So I kind of like can pick up a trend and see it and kind of like make it my own and figure it out what to do from there. When I help people, like even at the shop, they're like, I don't know how to make a reel. I'm like, just start with this. Take a video of the tattoo, wipe it off. That's it. Start easy, make a post on your story, draw some flash, pre-price it, start small. After those baby steps, you, you know, start to get more comfortable. It's just like anything else, but I think you need to do it now for sure. So my clientele is wildly different on TikTok than it is on Instagram. Like, my followers, let's say. My followers on TikTok are wild and crazy and they will say whatever comes to mind. My Instagram followers are more like even keel, like to think about what they're gonna say before they make a comment. It really depends on the visibility you want. TikTok is going to be like for the wow factor. Like people wanna see on TikTok you doing that dance trend. When I posted like the glitter tattoo, they were like, holy crap, like what is that? You know, they wanna be like wowed on there so that they stop scrolling. Instagram I feel like is more, like they're getting to that with like the reels and they're giving you incentives by offering money. The algorithm's not as accessible. So like you might have like an, a reel just like take off for like literally no reason. Whereas TikTok, I kind of can figure out what's gonna take off and what's not. I think Instagram is never gonna die for artists. Artists are like, oh my God, you know, I have 10,000 followers and only a thousand are seeing it. Well, yeah, that's true, but also what are you posting? If they're not interacting with it, it's because they don't necessarily like it, you know, which is not saying like what you're doing is bad, but you gotta remember that like people, if they're seeing the same thing over and over again, they're gonna stop interacting with it. What makes you special than homeboy over here that's doing that? I have like 178,000 followers maybe 20,000 see it, but it's not like, that's just how al algorithms work. They couldn't possibly show it to all of those people, otherwise it would explode. You know, that's just not how like the internet works. If people just try to focus on doing what they love and making it really good and stop worrying about what is going to like pop off the most, they'll be all right. <laughs>